Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys my GSXR 1000. It's a 04 version. Got the 300 back tire. All right, let's kind of jump into what I'm doing here today. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm installing a new stereo system on it. Um, I got some DS18 bullet speakers. So I think they're three inches. I got some Poly Planner Marine speakers. These are for my mids, if I'm saying that company right. They're three inches also. And then my pile marine amp. Uh, it comes in silver and black. Flip around on the back. That top one is a silver, bottom is black. Um, I chose this amp because it's a marine amp. It's a it's like a thousand watts. Um, it's a four channel amp. Um, it has a volume control on it, so I chose it because it had a volume control. I wanted to be able to turn up the system without using my MP3 player. Came with a little manual or whatever. Alright, I also wanted Bluetooth because they don't have Bluetooth ones. So, I bought a... let me take it out of the package. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Give me one second. All right, here we go. This is a Fusion. Fusion Bluetooth. It's a MS BT100. I'm gonna use this for Bluetooth. Basically, it it plugs up to your power and your negative and all you do is insert these you can either insert them into here or you get like a a, um, a splitter that goes from RCA female to auxiliary uh, male which will be your 3.5 headphone jack basically you want it to be able to plug into this so the back would have the female version for the um, RCL jack, RCA jacks so that's my Bluetooth alright let's go up to the bike alright basically I've already started well let me take you over to the bike first I already started um, I wanted to install everything in the ram air ducts. So basically, to get the ram air duct out, if you look down in here, it's a, a push pin that goes right here. It's just a little push pin. All you do is pop the head up and pull the whole thing out. That's what holds it in. Um, I took out the screw here and the screw on the side of the fairing. I took out the three screws here on the fairing. And then I kind of just, you know, move the fairing out. So basically you take your handbars and you move them to the right. And then <clears throat> you can see here, like I said, the um that push pin is not in here. All you do is once you pull the push pin out. You kind of pull it from here just to kind of break it free. Take this uh, rubber boot off. And then you wiggle it back and forth. And there you go. So now you have the ram air duct out. Alright, so basically I already pre drilled the holes. Um, the top is for the mids, and the bottom is for the bullet tweeter. They're both about three, 
three inches. I took a Milwaukee Dremel. I love this thing. It has variable speeds on it. I put a cutting tool on it and I basically just I cut I took the speaker drew a three inch hole you know around or drew a circle around the speaker for the top one for the bottom and then I took a drill I took the um, the Milwaukee Dremel and I cut like a plus sign in it. So I started at the top, cut down a straight line, came over to the left, cut across a straight line, and then I kind of just cut the back parts out and pushed them out as I got them all out. I did the same for the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's an easier way. You could probably just take a hole saw and just drill it straight out. That would be a lot faster. But um, kind of doing, working with what I had, and then I just cleaned the edges up so that I could get the speakers in. Then on the bottom, you want to drill a hole on the bottom for the actual um, speaker wire to come out of. I soldered the wires to the to the actual speaker itself, so it's actually soldered on there. And then I heat shrink it, shrunk it, and then on this side, same. It's heat shrunk, and then I put like a little bit of um, um, black, just electrical tape. But it's 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 the kind it's kind of has like a fabric feel to it. And then I soldered that in. So basically, this is the finished product. I this is the bullet speaker, and this is the mid speaker. I kind of not the best job but I hot glued with hot with black hot glue I glued it in and then I put a screw here and a screw here and I took a I took a the um, Dremel and cut the edges off so it'll be round here and here it actually has a area where you mount it I did this one that way already because I didn't want these hanging off on the sides It'd be like up here. And then I put screws in this one. Put a little solder um, hot glue behind it. I didn't want any air getting in there. And then I um, sprayed it black with um, Plasti Dip. Um, I Plasti Dip the whole thing because because uh, those speakers are actually like a silver color. See it here. It's like a silver color, so I plasti did it because I wanted it. And then this is like a kind of faded black. I wanted everything to match, so I sprayed the whole entire thing. Then on the bottom, I took the wires that I um, soldered to each speaker, pulled one out of a hole here and a, one out of a hole here, and then I uh, joined them together, positive and negative, and then just made a long... Um, wire coming out and that's going to go to one side of the amp. It's a four channel amp and then when I finish the other side it'll go to the other side of the amp. Now let's go over here to the bike so you guys can see the setup I have. Um, I put it on the side it's going to go up under the bottom of the uh, tail fairing. Now if you go over here I got the power wire the remote wire and the ground wire. Basically all I did was I drilled a hole through this plastic ran the wire here. All of these wires are soldered together um, I believe in solder and everything and then they're heat shrunk and then over top of the heat shrink I used that, um, that fabric electrical tape or whatever. So it's going in it comes in through the back and it goes up under and then comes down and then they bolt here you can run them all the way to the battery if you would like um, I just didn't want I have enough wire going to my battery so I just ran it right here it 
it's a positive and a negative like right up under there it's hard to see it but it is a negative up under there and then I put uh, if you can see I ran the, the, the positive which is the green one and the black with the white line is the negative I ran them here because the power and the negative runs to it okay then the remote wire is that yellow wire that's down there I ran it down and up under here and then it goes to this fuse box right here I'll open it so that you can kind of see it if you look down in there I have this uh, it's like a fuse like connection for the fuse it's pretty cool it makes it so that I can turn the amp off with the bike um, you know what I have one right here so basically this goes to the remote wire so you run the remote I cut that off I, I cut that butt connector off and I soldered it but um you take the remote wire solder it to this you take out the fuse that you want to connect it to I used I think I used the fan um, fuse I really wanted to do the um, the signal but the signal one the way this is kind of shaped it was hanging out of the box and I wanted to be able to close the box so I connected it to the fan so I took out the fan um, fuse put it in this bottom one right here and then I put the backup fuse for this wire in the top then I took this and I just plugged it in and that's gonna make it so it'll turn off with the bike and you don't have to hook up a switch and it's draining your battery when your bike is not on that on that won't happen but this is a really cool thing right here I wish I knew the exact name for it but um if you can just see it it's basically it's like a fuse extension or extender All right. Hey, for anyone who wants to get those fuse holders, here you go right here. I went on my phone, pulled it up on eBay so you guys could actually see it. All right. Now, as you can see, this is my old amp system. Um, it's a Cycle Sound 100 watt uh, low draw. Um, it works well it's not loud enough for me uh, if you can see I put the speakers for it here and here those will be coming off and the new ones will be going kind of being concealed in here or whatever I think it's going to be great can't wait to finish so I can show you guys the finished product oh yeah one other thing with the soldering this Milwaukee this Milwaukee uh, wireless solder gun is awesome. It gets hot in like, I don't know, 10 seconds. It's already hot. You know, all you do is push up on it. This light will blink a couple times. And then eventually, it'll stay green and it's like hot already. And it takes that, um, that 12, that M12 battery. But if you just give it a little time, it's, it's crazy how fast. See, it's hot already. That thing's hot already, man. That's awesome. You need to get you one of these if you like the solder. All right, I'll come back to you. No, nope, the ice cream truck's coming. <laughs> I'll come back with you guys a little later and let you see the finished product. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start installing this speaker and putting the black hot glue around in these areas where it kinda got like a gap and um, let me show you that hot glue gun this is the hot glue gun it's a Bosch Let's see if I can get close up on it it's a Bosch PKP18E that's the black um, hot glue that I was talking about you can purchase this gun and the hot glue on eBay or Amazon uh, so basically what I'm going to do is fill in these gaps right here and then once I start to fill it in I'll come back and let you guys see how, 
how it's going. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to kind of show you guys this hot glue session. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it gets it in there. I'm going to clean it up, you know, better than it looks right now. I'm going to clean it up, but that's basically what I did. I'm still going to put two screws in it, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see it. That's how it looks. And like I said, I'm going to clean it up, so it's not going to look so rough. All right. I'll be back. All right, guys. I know it's a little dark. I'm in the garage right now. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. Got the bike all put back together. Everything is put back together. As you can see. All right. Let's go in here. I went on and I kept the two speakers at the top that were for the original system. Uh, the cycle sounds. I kept those and I added the extra speakers in here. It's a little dusty. Extra speakers in here. If you go over here to the other side, you can kind of start seeing them. So I got both speakers in. As you can see, both speakers, both speakers, kind of got a little rough job here, it's not too bad, but when you go over to the other side, it's a little better, I think I did a better job on the other side, but Speakers are in. System sounds awesome. Let's go back here. Remember, I put the amp right here, so the amp is sitting in this portion of the tail fairing. If we go in here, I have the Bluetooth hooked up. It's just extra wiring. Everything's in there. Um, I got the seat down right now, but. I got everything basically wired in this tail section and I ran everything through here. Uh, let's see how it sounds. Alright, I got the bike turned on, so now the amp is on. Let's play a little bit of music, let you kind of hear how it sounds. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Sounds really good. So the Bluetooth is working. Down for you Alright, that's it, y'all. Everything's done.